Got to start with the news. Jay Powell yesterday, his comments taken by Wall Street as suggesting the Fed is putting a rate cut on the table for consideration. Uh, did you take it that way? Is a cut, is the door open to a cut? Uh, well, I think we've been looking at the data and, uh, you know, talking to businesses and uh, thinking about how the forecast is uh, evolving. I still think that the fundamentals are solid for the economy. There is uncertainty and you, you know, might be wondering if businesses are, um, you know, delaying a little bit more, taking uh, stock of, you know, what the international situation looks like. I think it would be prudent to take a look at, uh, you know, our you know, setting for monetary policy as we do each and every time. And as I've said, um, you know, earlier, I'm a little nervous about the low inflation uh, rate. And so um, even though we expect it's kind of temporary, I think that that by itself could be a reason for a little bit more accommodation. But I think we're just going to have to look at how things are evolving. Cut rates, 25, <clears throat> 50 basis points. Will that generate inflation? Hasn't so far. Well, I think that's a good question because I think it uh, depends on just supporting in an accommodative fashion. We've been underrunning inflation. We're about 1.6% year over year. We ought to be at two, two and a quarter by now. This late in the cycle, sort of averaging higher inflation, at least uh, defending our symmetric objective. And so I think uh, more accommodative stance would be supportive of that. Um, you know, it depends on the evolution of the economy, too, whether or not that's supportive of that or not. I think additional nervousness would, uh, you know, also, um, you know, call some of that into question. Well, has something changed with inflation dynamics that maybe the Fed and economists in general don't understand at this point? Uh, we've certainly been underrunning 2% now for quite some time. We've had moments where we've gotten up to 2%, and certainly uh, a year and a half ago as we were tightening, raising rates, I was more confident that we were going to be able to get to 2% on a sustainable sustainable basis. I think that's really important that it be sustainable. It turns out that we weren't, we haven't been able to do that, and it seems to be one cycle of temporary uh, downside risk to inflation after another. After a while, I think you really do have to wonder about the inflation process and whether or not uh, we just need more accommodation. Well, you're hosting a conference that's part of the Fed's review of its uh, monetary policy framework designed to sort of solve that problem. Have you heard any uh, uh, suggestions, and there have been a lot of them for different policies you could adopt, that you think actually would produce the result that you want? Well, I think the uh, conference papers have been very good. We had a panel yesterday where we had uh, people um, you know, labor, business people uh, in the community talking about what maximum employment means for their constituents. And I think that uh, we had a very nice paper looking at evaluating different approaches that the Fed has taken over the last 10 and 15 years. I took away from that that it's very important that we continue to demonstrate credibility, that with all of our actions we want to indicate that we're here to generate symmetric 2% inflation and maximum employment. Some of that could be um, uh, another reason for sort of pushing a little harder further into the cycle in order to average higher inflation to uh, ratify symmetry. I think we're, today's papers are going to be on that point uh, even more so, and I think it'll be very interesting to listen to those.